Okay, good morning, good morning. Sorry the glare is so bad, but you know what that glare means? That means the sun is shining. Woohoo! All right, so let me see. Let me try to get a little bit better. All right. Wow, that is so bright. But again, it's a good thing, it's not a bad thing. Good morning, Rita. Good morning. Okay, so today is chest and triceps. We're going to do a little cardio. We're going to do a little abs. Today isn't going to be one of those, excuse me, it's not going to be one of those workouts um, that's going to leave you breathless and dying like, oh, I'm so sore in my chest. It's a lot of movement, but <clears throat> every week is a little bit different. Like we focus on different muscle groups during the week, right? But we do that on purpose because we want to show you, if nothing else, you're able to learn a whole bunch of different things that you can take with you back to the gym in a few weeks when we're hopefully ready to reopen, okay? All right, so you need a set of weights. We're only doing a few things with weights, like tricep kickbacks, we're gonna do some flies. So if you have um, a medium to heavy, it's fine. A lot of cardio and a lot of abs in addition, okay? But we're doing some abs and cardio that also will help with the triceps and the chest. All right, so we'll get started in just a minute. Make sure you have water with you. And um, yeah, okay. All right, always, as always, get music in the background that you can enjoy because it, with Facebook, we can't really have music. So um, you want something to keep you motivated, okay? All right, so we're gonna start with just a march. Just a super, super easy warm up today. Just march in. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. It's a beautiful day today. It was a beautiful weekend. We're grateful. We're thankful. Always think positive. I promise it will help. No matter what you're going through, I promise staying positive will help your waistline. It will help your brain. It will help you with workouts. All right, here. Now we're gonna just do a few squats, just super nice and easy. So we're just gonna do about a one minute warm up, and then we're gonna get started on our chest and triceps today. Because we have a lot of cardio involved in our um, workout today, we're just gonna get right into it. All right, now stand up straight, and let's do a few leg swings. Now this one is easy, if you have good balance. If you don't have good balance, this one's hard. So squeeze the belly tight. Okay, now normally we would do this if we're doing a lot of legs. We're not doing a lot of legs, but we are doing some cardio. Okay, two more. All right, now I want you to hold up one leg and circle the ankle. And hold up the other leg and circle the ankle. All right, now. Come back, soft knees, open the chest. Again, just nice and easy, nice and easy warm up. <clears throat> now let's get those shoulders working, bring them back. Always want the joints ready for what we're about to do, okay? Okay, now, this is a part of the workout that we are gonna repeat three times. So every time we do it a little bit differently. Today, pretty much, is 30 seconds per exercise, okay? 30 seconds per exercise. We have about 15 exercises that we're doing. We repeat three times, okay? So soften the knees. The first thing is a step touch. But we're doing a step touch with an elbow press, okay? So you go at your own pace. But what we're doing is we're warming up those chest muscles, Okay, we're opening up the upper back muscles. So again, this is where the music at home comes into play. Because you want to keep the rhythm of the music, even if it's not exactly the same as mine, no problem. I just want you to go nice and fast. By now, you should feel a little bit of warmth in those shoulders, squeezing the elbows together. All right, four, three, two, one, now stop the feet, rotators. Now put your feet together. This is gonna require coordination. Open, close, open, close, open, close. And now we're gonna go a little faster. Open, close. 
So it's a combination move. We're doing our rotators and a half jack on our legs. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Keep that belly tight. 2, 1. Now watch from the side. Bring the elbows close to the waist. Again, this is just a little bit for the rotator cuffs. Whenever we do the chest or the shoulders, we got to warm up and strengthen those rotator cuffs. All right. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. Now hinge at the waist. Bend the knees. Palms up. Now pump up. Pump up. Now as we're pumping, remember we're doing this for 30 seconds. Now try to get your thumbs together. We did this a couple weeks ago. This is called a reverse 100. Thumbs are pointed towards each other and we're pumping up at the same time. We're bending at the knees. It's warming up our triceps. 10 seconds left. Just nice and easy. This one's like a surprise attack. So keep every muscle tight. All right. And hit the floor. Hit the floor. Okay. We have push-ups. So I want you to get into a good plank position. All right, we're widening the hands. We're just going to do 10 push-ups. If you have to go on your knees, no problem. All right, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. But when you're done, 4. Don't. Let go of that plank position. Two, one. Now put your hands a little closer. And mountain climbers. Mountain climbers, because we have to complete that 30 second round. Keep going, keep going. Oh yeah, we got 15 more seconds of this. Keep going, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and on your back. Grab your weights. Make sure they're close. We're not gonna use them for the first one, but we want them close. All right, now lift those legs in a 90 degree angle, crunch, crunch. Just a very simple crunch where we keep our chin away from our chest. Keep going, keep going. We got 30 seconds of this crunch. So we have a little less than 15 seconds left. Keep crunching. Keep those elbows out to the side. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, now come on up for a quick second break. Grab your weights. We're gonna do chest fly in a 90 degree angle. So the palms are facing each other. All right, here we go. Out and in, out and in. Keep those legs in that 90 degree angle. Keep that back flat. Keep going. 15 seconds. You got it, you got it. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, come on up. Take your time. We only need one weight for the next exercise. It's a one leg, one arm kickback. Opposite leg to opposite arm. Here we go. You'll get a break soon, but I want you to stay with me. That way we can keep it as a mini hit. It's not ex super extensive like we talked about before, but we wanna make sure we're providing the rest at the right time so we can do the most for our body. Keep going, we got 10 seconds left. Keep it up, keep it up. Three, two, one. Now, keep the back straight, bend at the knees, arm overhead. Now watch my elbows. My elbows stay very close together. Keep going. It's best to use a heavier weight for this, but whatever weight you have that you use for the tricep kickback, it's fine. Just keep going, because we got whole 30 seconds with this. We have 10 seconds left. 
Elbows in, tight the belly, make sure that back stays straight. Five, four, three, two, one. Now opposite leg in front, hinge at the hip, elbow to the side, kickbacks. 30 seconds of kickbacks. Keep the belly tight, keep the hips forward. 15 seconds left. Just keep going, watching your form, watching your breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, now we get rid of that weight. Get rid of the weight. Jump rope. Keep the elbows in. Now, if you don't want to jump rope because it's too much, then you just kind of shift your body weight. But I want you to keep moving. We got this for 30 seconds. Keep going. 15 seconds left. Keep the elbows into the side. Keep them in there. Five, four, three, two, one. Right into a boxer's hop. We got 30 seconds of this. Now you can bring your arms up to make it a little harder. Keep your belly tight. Keep breathing. The next one I'm not gonna lie to you is hard. And we're gonna do it for 30 seconds. But then after that, we're gonna do an isometric hold on the floor and then we're done. Then we repeat those two more times. Now with the next couple of sets, we're gonna make it just a little harder but you got this, right? You got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Now 30 seconds of burpees, here we go. Always adjust to make it work for you. The reason why I love burpees, it's an all over body. And because we're doing chest and triceps, it's really gonna help to strengthen and break down the muscles that we're working today. So keep going. You can do one foot at a time. You don't have to go in the push up if it's too hard. Just do what you can. You have time for one more, one more. All right, now march it out, march it out. The next, the last two moves, excuse me, are side planks. All right, we wanna do this with our heart rate up. It's most effective that way. You can do it on the arm or your elbow. I'm gonna do it on my arm. It's for me personally, it's more effective on my arm. I do wanna make sure my hand stays right underneath my shoulder. My hips are stacked. All right, just do what you can. You can do this, keep breathing. Your heart rate is probably pretty high right now. That's normal. If you need to take a break, take a break come back into it when you can. Almost there, less than 10 seconds. You can do this and drop down. Get ready for the other side. That's round one. We got two quick rounds to go. All right, lift up. Stack those hips. Excuse me, I'm chewing gum and I have hair in my gum. Not that you wanted to know that, but I apologize. <laughs> okay, reach that arm up. Tighten the belly. Almost there. Less than 15 seconds. Come on, you got this. 15 seconds. Actually, now it's five, four, three, two, one. You get your first break. So grab a drink of water. We got two more rounds. Water is the key. Make sure you're getting enough water. All right, round one done. Start with the march. Now step touch, step touch. Keeping the core tight, relaxing the shoulders. Now add the press, press. Again, this actually does work the muscles of the chest. Not as extensive as when we do it with weights, obviously but it's still important. We're stretching out the upper back, squeezing the elbows. When we squeeze the elbows, you're gonna feel gently that your chest is being worked. 10 more seconds. 
but we keep moving the legs to keep it a little more cardio. All right, now stop the feet. Go right into the rotator cuff. Put the feet together. Every time we go down, we're gonna go out with the feet, right here, here. All right, I think I did it opposite, but you know, it's just half jack on the bottom, rotator cuff on the top. Okay, it's almost like a dynamic jack, but we're focusing on those rotator cuffs. You got 15 more seconds. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. March it out, march it out. All right, now hinge at the hips. Bend at the knees, palms are up. First we pump up, pump it up. The whole thing is 30 seconds, so we're doing this for the first 10. Now, thumbs in. Make sure you're trying to reach for your thumbs. The higher you lift those arms, the more work you're gonna do for those triceps. Relaxing the neck, pushing the shoulders down, tightening the belly. Almost done, less than 10 seconds. Come on, you got it. All right, three, two, one. And take a deep breath in. All right, down on the floor for our push-ups and mountain climbers. Now the first round, we did 10. We're gonna do 10 regular. Then we're gonna do 10 a different way. All right, you can do this, here we go, down. Up, down, up, down, up. Modify where you need it. We got six more. Keep the belly tight, don't drop your hips. If you're doing push-ups on your knees, no problem. Two more. Just make sure you're doing it in good form. All right, on your knees. The next one is a rotating push-up where we go to the side, okay? So I'm actually gonna show you from the front. We're going to go out, push up, come in, go out, push up. Okay, we got 10 of those, here we go. Out, push up, come in, out. This is two, this is three. You can still do this on your knees. Four, five, six. Come on, keep going. Seven, eight, nine, you got one more. Take a little break. Take a little break, get ready for your mountain climbers. We got 30 seconds of mountain climbers in three, two, one. Here we go. Open up the palms of your hands. Really reach the knees towards your chest. 20 seconds left. Come on, keep going, just stay focused. 10 seconds. Come on, bring those knees up. Three, two, one. Drop to your knees, go to your back. Make sure that the weights are close to you. Okay, get the weights close to you. All right, flatten on your back. Now, the same thing with the push-ups, we're gonna do two variations of crunches. So start with your crunch. We lift, lift. Now see how I'm doing it a little faster. We're trying to fatigue the muscle, but make sure your back is flat, your chin is lifted. You're only using your fingertips to support your head. Keep it up, keep it up. Come on, you can do this. 10 more, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, we got bicycles. Go, elbow to the knee, kick them out, kick them out. Keep that belly flat, keep the back flat. Elbows are rotating to the knee, almost there. Almost there, 10 seconds left, breathe. All right, now relax. The next move is that chest fly. All right, grab your weights. 
Like flat on the back, legs at a 90 degree angle, palms are facing in, rotate out. Bring it in and out. We got 30 seconds of these. Keep that back flat. Keep it there, halfway done. Halfway done. Keep the knees together. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, now we only need one weight. We're standing on our feet. We got one weight. Opposite leg is in front. We're hinging at the hip, keeping the belly tight. Elbow to the side, kick back. We got 30 seconds. Keep going. Keep it up, keep it up. Hips are forward. We got 15 seconds left. Almost there, five, four, three, two, one. Now lift up. Now overhead, press. Keeping the knees bent, keeping the back straight. Now watch my elbows. Remember, those elbows stay close. Relax the neck muscles. If this hurts, your weight is too heavy or your shoulders can't take it. You can always do this without any weight at all. Just keep the elbows pressed together. A couple more seconds. A couple more seconds. Make sure the belly is tight, the back is straight. Three, two, one. Now, opposite leg in front, hinge at the hip. Here we go, press back and back. Keep going. We got 30 full seconds of this. Okay, now look at my wrist. My wrist stays completely straight. A lot of people bend their wrist and then they're not utilizing the full capacity of their tricep. Do not bend the wrist. Keep going. Almost there. Three, two, one. Get rid of that weight. All right. We have jump rope. Jump rope. Come on, you can do this. Keep your elbows in. I hope that music out there that you've chosen for yourself is motivating you. If you don't have music and you need a break, take a break, put on music. I promise it will help. My music is extremely quiet, but it keeps me focused. It keeps me motivated. It keeps me moving. All right, boxers hop. All right. I hope you were able to enjoy a little bit of that weekend beautiful weather. If you have a little bit of a sunburn right now and it's irritating you with your workout, don't complain. You know why? Because if that sun was shining so hot that you were able to get a sunburn, be grateful. We have had some terrible stormy days and this weekend was so beautiful. All right, burpees, here we go. Down and out. Come on, you can do this. Push yourself, modify if you need it. Take your time. I'm taking my time with this. The most important thing is my posture. So make sure you're positioned right. My yoga mat is giving me some problems but I'm gonna finish this set, almost there. Less than 10 seconds. You've time for one more, one more. All right, last part is your side plank. All right, let's do this. Side plank, you can go on your elbow or your hand. I'm gonna choose to go on my hand. Even if 30 seconds is too much for you, do it for 10, take a break, and do it for the final 10. Make it work for you. A lot of people say this is too hard on their wrist. That's why I gave you the modification to do it on your elbow. They're both beneficial. I prefer this way. All right, come down, switch sides. Almost done. After this, this is also a modification. I'm sorry, I should have shown you this first. Okay, here we go. Now, we have less than 20 seconds here. 
Then we only have one more round of everything we did. We're gonna be done before you know it. Just stick with it, breathe. In less than 10 seconds, we're gonna get up and take a break. We're gonna drink water and relax. Three, two, one. All right, grab a drink. We only have one more round. I am already a sweaty mess, which is great. But when you add a little bit of cardio in there, it does make a big difference. All right, here we go. Last round, let's make it count. Step touch, add in the press, add in the press. This is almost like a little bit of a break. We're just gaining strength so we can finish strong with the rest of our workout, okay? So right here, we're still squeezing the belly, but what we're doing is we're taking the time to say, wow, that was really hard the last one and I have to take it easy on the third one or I can really push myself for this last one. It's up to you, you have to decide how your body feels. All right, now hold it. We're just doing the rotator, okay? I'm gonna start with my feet in and now we're gonna add the jacks, down and up, down and up, keep going. This is where it counts, people. We only have a few more minutes of this workout. So give me what you can, keep the belly tight. You can even still do half jacks with this. You just tap out your foot one at a time. Three, two, one, march. All right. Now, hinge at the hip. Keep that back straight, pump. We're pumping. See my palms are up? We're here for the first 10 seconds and then we push the thumbs together. Here we go, thumbs together. This is called a reverse 100. It's working some intricate muscles of the tricep that we don't always get to get to. Keep it here, keep it here. Come on, you got it. Make sure the knees are bent, make sure the belly is tight. Less than 10 seconds. Almost there. Three, two, one, and relax. Now comes the harder part. Stay with me, you have five minutes left of this exercise, that's it. All right, we're gonna do push-ups. Regular push-ups for 10. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven. Come on, you can do this. Six, five, exhale, four. Now three, two, and one. All right, now we have another part of this. This is where we did the rotation. But instead of the rotation, we're gonna do shoulder taps, all right? So get into that plank position. First, we hold the plank. Make sure your hips are not sagging. Make sure your hands are right underneath your shoulders. Now tap, 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 tap. We have 15 seconds to go. Keep going. Rotate just a little bit, but don't rotate the hips. You're just balancing on one hand for five, Four, three, two, one. All right, getting ready for mountain climbers. Lift those knees. Come on, you can do it. It's the last time we're doing this. 20 seconds. Get those knees up. You got 10 seconds left. Breathe. Keep going. Three, two, one, and rest. You're gonna be flat on your back. All right, make sure those weights are near you. All right, here we go. Lift, crunch. Now as we're here, keep your back really flat. Keep it nice and flat, but we're also going kind of fast. We're fatiguing that muscle. You got 15 seconds. Come on, you can do this. Five, four, three, two, right into that bicycle, 30 seconds. You can do it, kick those legs out. We only have 20 seconds left. Elbow to the knee, come on. Lift those shoulder blades off the ground. Keep the belly tight, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Grab your knees, 
rest. Now, get those weights. We have 30 seconds of chest flies. The legs are in a 90 degree angle. The palms are facing each other. Go down together, down together. You can always go at your own pace. If I'm going too fast, you go at your own pace. It really depends on how heavy your weights are. If they're heavier, then you gotta go slower. If they're a little lighter, you can go just a little faster. Keep it up, 10 seconds. Almost there, five, four, three, two, Last one. All right, we are so close to being done. All right, couple more things. Now we're gonna do one arm kickback. One arm kickback, here we go. 30 seconds, keep the hips, we hinge at the hip, opposite leg in front, squeezing the elbow, wrist is straight. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five seconds, make sure you're breathing. All right, feet together, soft knees, up above. It's an overhead press. You can always do this sitting. This is almost like a skull crusher, except the position of our elbows and hands are a little different. All right, 15 seconds left. Keep the elbows in. Squeeze the belly, soften the knees. This hurts your back, the weight is too heavy, or you're arching and you don't want to arch. Now, switch hands. Opposite leg in front. Here we go. 30 seconds of a kickback. Then we only have a minute and a half left. Give me all you got. A few more minutes. A few more minutes, guys. You can do this. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Breathe. Five seconds. All right, now put down that weight and right away into a jump rope. Jump rope. 20 seconds left, really squeezing the core. Come on, you got it. 10 seconds. Bend softly at the knees, pushing from the toes. All right, right into that boxer's hop. 30 seconds of the boxer's hop. And I have good news. We're not finishing with the burpee. That is the good news. Okay, almost done. 10 seconds. All right, three, two, one. Now march it out. We are finishing with an isometric hold that has nothing to do with the chest or the shoulders. Widen the feet, hips go back. We are holding a squat for 30 seconds, okay? Do you remember how we always talk about, remember how we always talk, I know this is a very strange looking position, but we always talk about the benefits of isometric hold with cardio hit or with just doing something different for the muscles. Why do you think yoga is so important? Not just for the stretching, it's something so different for the muscles. Like right now you should probably feel the burn, but it's also a different change in the way your heart um, is reacting to what you're doing to the muscle versus a cardio, which is elevating it in a totally different way. We got a few more seconds, a few more seconds. Come up, take a deep breath in. All right, you made it. Deep breath in. Great job, wide legs, throw the arm over, pull it in. Take that arm out, over the body. Now bend at the elbow, lift the chest. We always wanna make sure to stretch specifically the muscles we used, but also the muscles that assisted what we used. That's why stretching is important too. All right, and reach over. Almost done. Up, bend, lift the chest. All right, now place those hands behind you. Push the shoulders back, lift the chest, tighten the belly. 
and roll out the shoulders behind you. Now bring it forward. Let's stretch out that neck. Look over your shoulder. Head is neutral, chin to the chest. Head is neutral, look over the opposite shoulder. Now let's work on that back. We're gonna round the back, totally round the back. Now roll it up, chin to the chest. Take a deep breath in. Now hinge at the hip, reach for the floor. Totally opposite of what we just did. We still keep bent knees. Now can you grab your elbows and totally release your head and neck? <sighs> Breathe. If that gets you dizzy, you might have low blood pressure or other things going on, vertigo or something. So always be very careful with what you do. Now lower your hips, lift your chest, come up, take a deep breath. Exhale it out. You want to say goodbye? Come here. Thanks for tuning in. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good day. Have a good day.